Welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on um, just kind of tips for those who are about to go through chemo or know someone who's about to go through chemo. Um, just some things that I found very helpful for me um, and hopefully they'll be helpful to you. So um, just a quick little update, just my personal update about myself. I did go on Friday to get a bronchoscopy done. Um, this is my third bronchoscopy. I will not get the results for this. It is strictly for clinical research. Um, so there's gonna be nothing to update for that. I was supposed to have a um, another CT done of um, my chest and my head, but um, person who scheduled it scheduled it at the wrong building and because I'm on a clinical trial I can only have it at this one specific center so that is being rescheduled for hopefully this upcoming Thursday um, anyway so that's pretty much it about me um, you know just as a personal update if you have missed what's going on Go back, check out the other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, you may notice I am in a different setting. Um, I am actually downstairs in my living room, and I'm just kind of hanging out against my couch. Um, my son is already upstairs sleeping, and I don't want to do anything. Like, I just got out of the shower. My hair is still wet. I have nothing in it right now. Um, like... I'm just chilling right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and let's dive into what we got here. Okay, so chemo, oh goodness, chemotherapy can be difficult. Um, I would say my biggest tip would be stay hydrated. Like, you cannot stay hydrated enough. That is the number one thing to help you not feel like crap. Um, unfortunately, I learned that the hard way. Um, I did not drink enough water. I have always had a hard time drinking a lot of water. Um, and I just, I didn't listen. There were other things that I wanted to drink or I just, I just didn't listen. Um, so stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Um, something that I started doing after like my first chemo, my first session, my first chemo session, sorry, something popped up on my screen, um, was when I would get my chemo, I would ask for them to infuse a liter of fluids at the same time. Now you do have to get an order for that from the doctor, but it's just fluids. I would be very surprised if your physician said no. Um, but that can definitely help. I know it really helped me. Um, but yeah, try it out. Um, another thing that was very hard for me was I didn't really want to eat. Like, like two days after my chemo, I didn't really feel like eating. Like I was just kind of like, like just feeling crappy. Um, cold and wet food. Like, um watermelon, pineapple, stuff like that um, was very helpful, especially watermelon. That that was like one of the only things I could really stomach for a while. But um, when you're not feeling like eating, those cold, wet foods are really good. Um, and speaking of food, it is so important to stay on top of your protein. Like make sure you're getting plenty of protein. Um, I know that can help you feel better too. And I know it's going to be hard to eat protein such as like meat and stuff, but they do have, um, flavorless powders that you can mix into your drinks or into your food. You can cook with it. Um, and it's flavorless. So that would be something to try. Even if you're just doing like a, like a chicken broth, maybe mix in that flavorless, uh, protein powder. Um, they sell it on Amazon, so you can try that. Um, another tip I would have is stay on top of your meds. Um, don't wait for symptoms to come on. You need to take those immediately and take them around the clock, even if you think that you're feeling perfectly fine, because once something, uh, sneaks up on you, 
it's really hard to get it to go away. So just take your meds like clockwork. Um, I would invest in a heating pad and cold packs, uh, like the refrigeration cold packs. I use those on my hands and my feet because the chemotherapy that I had made my hands and my feet burn, um, which I hear that's very common for most chemos. So I would definitely get those. And then the heating pads I like to use when I would get Nulasta because it would make my body so sore. Um, new last and new pigeon. So I would definitely check out those, uh, you know, check out into getting those too. Um, something else, which, uh, you know, I, I had several, several rounds of chemo and unfortunately I didn't get this towards the end, but it was still very helpful was a shower chair. Um, there were some days where I was just, I felt so weak and so run down and I just didn't want to do anything. Um, and standing to take a shower would make me feel sick just because of standing. Um, you know, it's a, it took a lot of effort for me to stand. But um, I would definitely say get a shower chair. If you have a medical supply store near you, you can get one from them. Um, I was lucky enough to have someone in my family to give me one, but I've seen them on the uh, Facebook marketplace, um, you know, garage sales. The, med the medical supply store I think is going to be expensive, but um, if you're not looking to spend that much, then I would definitely check out getting one from Facebook marketplace. Um, but yeah, that has been like a huge, huge help. I would definitely recommend that. Um, and then <laughs> another thing I recommend, if somebody says, hey, do you need help? Can I come clean your house? Can I do this? Can I bring you dinner? You know, what? if somebody offers you help, say yes. I should practice what I preach. <laughs> I was really bad at saying, you know, no to people like, oh no, I'm okay, thanks. I should have said yes most of the time. Um, definitely say yes. People, people want to help. Like that's, you know, they're not, they're not offering for themselves. Like they want to help you. Um, so take people up on that. That is going to be a huge help because you're going to end up running yourself down, making yourself way more exhausted than what you should be. So just check in, you know, get, get help, <laughs> get help from the people. And, um, there's also cleaning, uh, not supply. Um, there's cleaning like, um, services for people who are going through a chemo. Um, I don't know if it's offered everywhere, but I know here in Florida, they offer like a one t once a month cleaning service to come through your house and clean. So it's once a month, it's free of charge. I think you just have to show proof that you're on chemotherapy, um, which obviously you could just get a doctor's note for that. But yeah, that would definitely be something for, you know, those to check into. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, just... Uh, B12, I took B12, that helped, um, just feeling kind of, feeling a little bit more energized, um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it, so I would say the key things are staying hydrated, getting in your protein, and staying on top of your meds, absolutely, like, the key, key factors to feeling pretty decent. And I'm so sorry that my video just cut off because my alarm went off telling me to get up and go take my chemo pills. <laughs> um, but anyway, if it cut me off, um, what I was saying was those are the key factors to taking, um, to, to getting chemo. I like the key, to feeling decent. <laughs> anyway, I know this was a short and sweet video, but thanks for watching and I will try to do another update soon. Hopefully I'll be having my CT done um, this Thursday and I can get res uh, get some results maybe on Friday, maybe, but probably not until Monday. Um, but yeah, so I will keep everyone up to date, and I will talk to everybody soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!